Hi there guys, welcome to the channel, Nigel here, Nigel's Modelling Bench and I'm going to do a review. Um, this is a book review, it's not even a new book, it's a book I've had for many years and one that I've never really paid much attention to but it's a book that I'm glad I bought because at the time you could buy it for a normal price, they became really expensive with the release of the Trumpeter 200 scale hood and then now they're back to sort of normal obtainable money again so if you have any interest in this ship at all I suggest you go and get this book it's brilliant um, why am I doing this the reason I'm doing it if you follow a guy or if you haven't seen him go take a look there is a guy on YouTube called Aussie Trekkie is his, um, is his name and as you can tell from his name he's Australian and he's a Star Trek fan and he's done some work with enterprises and stuff but he mainly builds model ships now a lot of people I've seen I've seen people poke fun um, about his techniques and the way he works and everything but the, the, the what, what he actually achieves with the tools he's got I find quite remarkable go take a look at the channel what he actually does he actually turns the camera on spends like an hour doing modeling and then turns the camera off there's none of this on off or sort of right now I'm gonna put this together there you go there's the finished model um, you don't get any of that and also he like me he tends to flip from kit to kit to kit to kit so it's sort of quite wide and varied um, so yeah go take a look um, but he's actually just started on his trumpeter hood and it's a kit I've got in my stash and I've just actually ordered the Ponto set for it because it's something it's a kit I bought many many years ago and then sold and then bought it again which you know we all do um, but basically it's a kit I bought and I'm not going to sell it again because every time you sell one that you end up paying more for it next time around so here we go um, so this is the Anatomy of the Ship series, they do a whole range of books on all different ships and this one's for the uh, hood. This is the revised edition complete with 400 scale fold out plans so you can see that in here what we've got inside the cover is a fold out plan in 400 scale. Now I'm not exactly sure what year this book was revised, um, it's probably going to tell us in here, no it's not. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter. But basically there's the ISBN code there. If you make sure you can see it without reflection in the light. So if you want to get yourself this book, <clears throat> then you can. So I've got on an angle because of the uh, reflection from the front cover. So looking through the inside of the book, I'm going to put the light back where it should be. <clears throat> so you get a, a nice shot, a nice shot of the book. Um, so we've got an introduction here with all the um, information about the ship and I mean it had a very very long life um, and as you know was um, finally sunk by Bismarck in May 41. Uh, there's a lot of um, history about the book we've got um, you know statistics machinery there's some um, particulars of dimension displacement stability all about the armaments and then we've got some fantastic photographs period black and white photographs of the ship itself um, you can see this is in the pre-41, well the pre-39 refit isn't it I think. And you can see and then we've got a load of drawings. Now this is basically what the drawing book is all about is these drawings and apparently they're all very accurate but you do need to be a little bit careful because apparently more information keeps coming out even like current times more information comes out about you know what was actually going on with the ship. So here we go, we've got all drawings, we've got cross sections of the of the hull through different bulkheads and then we've got different decks here shown up and then we've got our control towers and everything and then going down through the hull you can see right down to the bottom of the hull and you've got the hull plating on the bottom there. Um, so this is an external profile as she was in 41 so when I build a model of this this is how I will build it as she was sunk is basically how, how people term it and you can see the the mast has gone from the foremast there main mast is very similar but we've got all the rigging on there as well now I'm going to start flicking through we've even got information on how the plating was done we've got how the actual um, holes built all the stringers and everything there and the plating going on all around the screws and everything you can see here's the um, the torpedo belt which is absolutely amazing 19 what's that 19 was tubes crushing tubes so they obviously put tubes in there to, to absorb the impact good idea um, and then we've got different duck deck cutaways and everything here 
or floor layout should I say all the grills and everything and it just goes on and on I've got the engine rooms and as I say the the beauty of this book it actually gives you um, details here we go so E12 this is the forward superstructure after the 29 to 31 refit and then you've got E13 which is this one here which is after the 1939 refit and then somewhere else there'll be another one where you've got that mast will be gone so um it's all very uh, very interesting indeed E42 that's the lower section of the bridge but um you can see all this this rigging detail in here which you need for your model especially if you've got the 200 scale you know you can see it all here as well and uh, I personally believe this is if you're going to build a, a nice model of it in 200 scale then this book is a must-have okay and then we got all the lifeboats and dinghies and stuff all the detail there the folks all there with the anchor chains and everything stairs guns main turrets you know absolutely incredible fantastic book and very very much worth very much worth buying I'm trying to see a date and I can't see one but um there we go so that's one part of the reference material for the hood the other very very useful piece of reference material is I've printed this off now I probably shouldn't have done this they copyright their um, um, not copyrighted but you can actually go on there and sort of print you know save and save as or print or whatever so you have to go with control control p and just print it out that way but i've done that so i can show you guys basically what these what these guys have done and this is the hmshood.com um this the HC, hms hood association and they have an absolutely amazing website with loads of information it's obviously all about hood and it's update i mean the latest update i think was just about two weeks ago it's very 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 good um very very good website for the modelers because you've got on there i mean if i just click it up now on the screen um we've got a list of all the kits and there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so that's 32 there's about 50 kits uh, listed on their website and of those 50 uh, i would say 42 45 of them have reviews and this is just this, to give you an idea how good this website is this is just covering the 200 scale kit and you can see there's 14 pages here which is all information on corrections and everything and it's not just oh this is wrong and that's in the wrong place it's this is wrong this is why this is how it was in 1939 but in 1941 it was like this so if you're building your model in 1941 you want to do this and this is how you do it it's it's absolutely incredible really really worth a look but if i just quickly flip, flip through this they're talking about the um, background with trumpeter and them now apparently they worked with trumpeter on this kit but they also worked with trumpeter in 1935 uh, and sorry 1935 on the 350th scale sorry i thought i heard the door go then so on the 350th scale and it talks all about it in there so they've got all the kit packaging here we talk about the price of it which obviously now is out of date um overall impression and then you've got corrections and suggestions for improvements you've got the hole plating which is quite heavy around the bow and then you've got the uh, horse pipes and anchors their shapes are incorrect you've got the um the portholes around the uh, around the hull they're in the they're sort of mispositioned in many times in many places so if you want to correct that you can they talk about the fairings around the degaussing cable the actual degaussing cable itself is very very simple on the kit you've got this anchor hole here which is covered over mesh um, and then you've got all the different bits and pieces about the decks you've got splinter shields and if anyone could tell me I cannot find out what this means what is up can somebody please tell me what is up because I've seen all boat deck up splinter shields I've seen boxes that look like um, uh, smoke generators or, or, ge or um, smoke launchers and they're called up what is up please can somebody tell me um, and then also then we got some, some more corrections here with the splinter shields we got the um, number four splinter shield bulwark there corrections to the turrets and then we've got gun house platforms 
We've got a bee turret up here. There's going to be cut. There's some cutting to do on there. And I mean, really, you could make a really, really have fun modifying this kit without buying aftermarket sets because basically it's all it's all just you know. I mean, here we're cutting out. If you watch Aussie Trek was uh, Aussie Trekkie's channel, you'll see he's just done this, and this is just removing the walls from the gun mounts. Where I was in the real life, it was hollow. Trumpeter have molded it in in one. And really, to see this clearly, you need to go to the website and look at this, and then you can click on that. And expand it and they've got all the notes and they're showing you where to cut why to cut and here we've got the red and the green the red definitely needs to be cut out the green is a strong possibility you know then they've got images here of other bits and pieces need to be changed sprinkle proof shelters and then we've got more deck changes there more deck changes here and then we're modifying the bridge compass platform torpedo control position air defense positions Format starfish platform control top and midships aft structures work motorboat workshop you know there's problems with that the main mast and then you know here you've got all the um the top splinter and then we've got the central area anti-pom-pom bandstand another thing you learn from this as well which i think is fantastic is the British, instead of having like A, B, C, D, E guns and everything, they actually gave them names. Um, I've learned from this that on the on the, apparently the the forward guns had no shields on them and they were given names like Patrick and Simon or whatever. You know, it's it's amazing. Um, another one I've learned from this I never knew. You've got with like you know with um, with Bismarck you've got A, B, C, D for the for the main turrets. What is it, Anton? I can't remember them now. Um, but basically this is A, B, X, Y. So interesting. And then they're giving you here um, general detailing considerations. And then here you've got your resources, resource and references, which I really like this. They're telling you which ones to use and which ones to avoid. There are so many people out there, so many people out reviewing on, on YouTube and everywhere in books and magazines that say, hey, this great book, look at it, it's fantastic. This one says, yeah, brilliant. Um, obviously they're starting off with their own website and then there's on the slipway which is another website anatomy of the ship excellent source of detailed drawings please note however that the 1941 plan of hood is not entirely accurate you see what I mean they're absolutely brilliant this only because at the time the book was originally created certain features of hood were not known or confirmed everything else is excellent and then you've got books coming down here and then you finish off excellent source of photos but do not rub on the color drawing as it's very out of date and colored incorrectly and there's you know lots and lots of stuff and then you've got references to avoid they're actually you know giving you books to avoid i'm not going to mention any but they're, they're, there's a couple there they're talking about so um okay there's an edit there because my um camera got full so anyway um after they've talked about the books not to get they talk about aftermarket parts now basically they're talking aftermarket parts for this kit so you know go to the website have a look at all the other kits if you're not interested in this one if you've got a 350th from white white enzyme or if you've got a 350th kit from trumpeter or the 600 airfix have a look on there and it'll be they'll, they'll cover it on there but this is basically covering the 200 scale trumpeter so you've got ka models um and then a go now micromaster model monkey and pontos i'm going to concentrate on the two i know about now ka models i actually have their set for the 200 scale arizona and it's compared to the Pontos set I have for the Bismarck, there's not a patch on it. Saying that, it's about half the price. So, you know, you pay your money, you take your choice. But Pontos model, like they say, this is the set to buy in bold letters. I mean, Pontos is just incredible stuff. Um, the only downside to the Pontos set is, and it's the set, it's the, these aftermarket manufacturers have to make these decisions and they must be tough to do at times. Do you make a aftermarket, an aftermarket set that completely corrects everything or do you make an aftermarket set that fits the model? Now, you must remember that the guys like me who want accuracy will go to any length to actually, you know, make something, make a master, take a mold of it, completely restructure something just to get a bit of accuracy. Other people don't want to do that. Other people just want to build the model out of the box. But some people want to build the model out of the box, add a detail set without doing too much modification. The downside to the Pontos set is they have made it fit the funnels. And the downside to that is Trumpeter have made the rear funnel smaller than the foremost funnel, which isn't correct. They should both be the same size. So the way around that 
is to either get another sprue C, I think it is, and then you can have two front or two forward tunnels. And then if you, you could previously order the Pontos set that came with two number five sheets, which have got the forward funnel photo etch on them, and then you could have two forward funnels. That's exactly what I did, and then I sold it all. Yeah, great. So now I've bought it all again, and I'm trying to get hold of Pontos to see if I can buy that fifth sheet, and um, they haven't come back to me. Whether they're on lockdown or what, I don't know, but um, I'd like to get hold of another fifth sheet, and then I'll modify the rear funnel to fit. Um, failing that, I'll have to just make the front funnel, take a moulding off it, and then make a resin, make a resin one, and redo the photo etch for the top. So um, anyway, there we go. So that's that guys, that's basically the review over in a nutshell. Why have I done this? Basically for shout outs. One to shout out Aussie Trekkie. Go take a look at his channel. It's, I find it quite soothing to sit and just watch his channel because it's, it's just like I say, he turns the camera on, does modeling for an hour and then turns it off. It's brilliant. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to the, this book, Anatomy of the Ship the, uh, by John Roberts. Absolutely brilliant, but as we've discovered in here, you know, it has it does have some inaccuracies because we're forever finding more information, which is absolutely fine. Um, but mainly, I want to give a shout out to these guys. Uh, I'm sorry I printed your sheets off and put them on camera. I'll send you an email and hopefully you'll say that's okay. Um, but basically, HMSHood.com, it's the HMS Hood Association fantastic website some fantastic details about the ship for modelers it's just a dream come true they've got you know loads on there as i say all the kits are covered the detail sets and everything and it's just really really good there's one kit they haven't got covered which i've got and i'm going to review in a minute and then i'll send them the review to look at and if they want to they can include it on their website so um big shout out to these guys go take a look at the website hmshood.com um, and then <clears throat> if you go across the top, you've got, you can see over here, <clears throat> excuse me, this is like the sheet and here you've got hood today. If you move your cursor over that, it comes down and at the bottom of that, you've got models. And then here you've got, you've got a list of all the kits that they review and everything. So go take a look and, uh, it's worth looking at everything else as well. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really good up to date information by some proper, proper enthusiasts. So, um, yeah, go take a look. Thanks for looking, guys, and I'll um, I'll see you all soon with a kit review. Bye for now.